Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, JXO here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing um, a Fenty, I don't wanna say demo slash review because I have worn the um, foundation before and I have tried out the concealer and powder, but I did have to go back to Sephora to get a different shade because the other shade was like, girl was looking, very casket ready, I was looking like crazy. I have the powder right here, it's in hazelnut. And then I have the concealer in 385 in one of their new shades. And then I picked up a new foundation in the shade 385. My winter shade is 410, but this is way too dark. Like in person, I'm telling you, the camera's gonna make it look so weird, but in person, this is like super orange and super dark. And I think like it's oxidized a little bit, so there's no red in the bottle look, look a little red right now so i don't really like using a sponge to apply this foundation if you hear anything in the back that's um josh watching tv but um yeah i don't like to apply use sponges that much anymore like depending on the foundation because i feel like it just looks so weird when you try to blend it out and it kind of dries down but i'm gonna use one today oh, whatever so before we get started, I'm gonna use my moisturizer, and this is the be the Formula 10 um, mattifying, uh, the mattifying moisturizer. And I've been using this so far. My skin has been acting up so much. Like I don't know what it is. I think it's because my period's coming. So, but other than that, like my skin has been looking a little crusty. Like I don't know what it is. Like my nose has been peeling. You can probably see it. See right here. My nose has been peeling like crazy, so I have really um, dangerously oily skin. So I've been looking a little, a little crazy. So now that that's on, I do not own the Fenty primer. I actually forgot to pick that up when I went to the mall. Handy dandy Smashbox photo finish, oil free. Just because I, like I said, I have really oily skin, so we gonna have to do that. Um, it depends on how I'm feeling that day, how crazy my skin looks. I do switch up my primers. It depends on what's closest to me sometimes or like how my skin is feeling. Today my skin doesn't feel like super, super, super like oily. Like it's weird because I have like dry patches in the winter as does everyone. As you can see my nose is like peeling. But like for the most part my skin is still oily. Fenty Beauty Foundation in 385. It might look a little white on camera but I promise you guys like it's not like it's not like super super duper light skin like i've worn it out in regular lighting and it looks fine so that's how i test if the foundation is my correct shade i have to wear it in outside lighting and you know sephora let me take these earrings out and put them in later sephora's lighting is very low and dim and dark Then now I'm gonna take my concealer in the shade 385. I had 370, but like I said, I was looking a little crazy. And then I'm just gonna conceal under my eyes. And then get my T's on. See, I like this. It's like a flat type of applicator. So it applies the right way. Okay. So first blending out the concealer, this isn't a first impression, but it's like, I'm gonna talk about what I noticed. It blended like butter. Like it blends perfectly with this foundation. I haven't tried it with another foundation. Of course I'm going to when I feel like, cause I'm a person who likes to try multiple, multiple foundations. I can't stick with just one. I don't know what it is, but I love trying multiple foundations. So I was gonna go pick up honey, but I forgot to get that one so I could set under my eye, but it's fine. I'm gonna go back to the mall and then I will just try it out then and then leave like a Instagram review versus YouTube. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. I actually do like 
reviews on there where I talk about things and a post where I'm like, this does not warrant a video. It's whatever. But this blends out like freaking butter. And I honestly love it. Like, I'm gonna have to clean up that a little bit better because I have eyeshadow right there. So I'm just gonna put some more. But look at that. Like, it gives you the nice glow. And that's what like I like about this one where you don't, that's my mistake. I'm so used to having to go like a few foundation, I mean concealer shades down because it's like, okay, this does not, does not give me the highlight that I like. I like, um, I don't like a too much highlighted look. In the 370, it was way too high. I'll insert a picture of how I was with the 370 and you can actually see, oh, and then I baked. So I was like, oof, but I don't like too much of a highlighted look. What the heck? Freaking sick. It's sickening how good this looks. Like, I'm going to contour, and today I'm gonna to be using my Revolution 415 stick foundation to cream contour, and then to set it, I'm gonna be using my, um, with Anastasia, to uh, set in that contour. So now I'm going to um, do one of my eyes and I'm just going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder just because I forgot to get the other shade and I'm not going to bake today just because I don't want to be looking a little I don't know. Should I bake? I'm going to bake. I'm going to bake. Just a, a light, slight bake. Just a slight one, and then I'll just. Okay. And then I'm about to do under my eyes make, under my eye makeup. So I'm just gonna take. And I'm done with that. I'm just gonna dust it off with an e.l.f. blush brush, just cause it looks, it fits under my face really good. See that? Dust it away really nicely. I might not even get that setting powder. Okay. And then lastly, I'm gonna take a fluffy powder brush and use my Fenty Beauty Hazelnut Setting Powder. I was looking at the other powder that was in Nutmeg, but it looked honestly too dark. And this one is like, I don't know if it's too light, so we gonna see. Go over like, this has a smell. I didn't notice it the first time. I like it though, it smells good. It doesn't stink, but um, I like to go over my highlight just because sometimes if it looks a little unblended or too light, this wraps it together. Because this is translucent, this doesn't like alter your shade per se if it's like your right color. But as you can see, this is the right shade for me. And I think it like helps tie it all together for like a nice like beat face. And then I forgot to come and set my face, so I'm gonna just do it on camera. So the MAC uh, Prep and Prime, pr blah, blah, blah. the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime, as you guys know, I'm gonna use that because I don't want to have dry patches because I said my skin gets a little dry, like it depends, and my nose is a little peely right now, so I'm just gonna use this to add some moisture back into my face. Okay, so this is the finished face. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you try this foundation, let me know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you try the concealer, all of that, let me know. I personally love Fenty, and it's not because it's by Rihanna. That's just an extra. Yeah, I like Fenty. It's 
it's for my skin complexion. It caters to people with my skin complexion and darker, so she gets my coin. Um, as for the like final thoughts, I actually really, really like the new foundation shade. I love it. Like it looks so great. And um, I don't know, I think my face looks very, very flawless. Even when I zoom in and look at it in the mirror with the matte and fine part, I think it looks pretty much flawless. Um, I do still want to try that honey powder, but I do like the way my Laura Mercier looks underneath my eyes. I don't think it's too light. I think it added enough brightness to it to where I didn't have to, if I felt like my concealer was too, um, too dark, the powder kind of balances it out and makes it, you know, a little bit brighter and lighter. So I don't know if I need the honey shade, but I do want to try the honey shade. So I don't know. I'm probably going to have to go in and get a sample before I fully purchase another $40 powder, but I am leaning towards getting it just because I feel like if I don't have to lose, use my Laura Mercier, okay, I'm willing to switch to fully Fenty, you know? All in all, I really like the powder and that's what's making me want to get the other shade. I know the nutmeg was too dark, but I'm probably gonna end up getting that for the summertime. But all over the face, it made my face look so flawless. And people are like, oh, it doesn't have that silk feeling. I feel like it feels very silky. Like it feels silky when I put it on with my, um, my brush. Didn't try using it with a sponge don't really want to but with my brush I think it feels super silky and I honestly do truly um I like the powder I think I think the powder is really nice especially with all of this combined I feel like my full face looks like super super flawless in person I don't know if it's like transitioning a little weird on the camera I know my lighting is a little weird I would rate, of course, the foundation a 10 out of 10 because I've always liked it. I don't have dry skin, so I don't have problems with that. I know people with dry skin don't really like it that much. Um, but as for the concealer, I rate it a 9 out of 10. Mm, no, I'm going to rate it 10 out of 10. I don't know why I was deducting a point. It's literally no reason to deduct a point. I really like that concealer. It blended perfectly with the foundation. That's why. I'm going to stick with the 9. I, it would become a 10 out of 10 if it blends better. If it blends the same with other foundations. It's working with this one, but I'm going to do a test of it on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. But I'm going to do a test of it with my NARS foundation and then with like a drugstore one maybe my can't stop won't stop no nah, I don't really like that one because I have the wrong shade so I have to get another one I'm gonna try it with my um Maybelline Fit Me oh that might not be my shade either see I hate the winter time because you get super super light and you have to get like a thousand different shades and I am not about that right now like I'm, I'm, I'm tired I'm tired with them so far I love the concealer but it's with its own um with its own thing so maybe if I try with a different one maybe I won't love it like I don't know so I'm gonna do that um as for the powder I will recommend the powder I know um I don't know if what people have been saying like you don't need the powder da, da, da. you don't need anything <laughs> but I would say you should buy it anyway like the powder is a really nice finish it didn't give me um really notice coverage when I used it the two times I've used it so far but who knows maybe it's just something I haven't noticed but I will say the powder did give a nice silky finish besides when I use my pressed powder powder gets a 10 out of 10 the foundation is already a fan fave of mine and what else what else what else I'm I guess I really, really like the concealer too. I think it's all pretty much a wrap. I just wish Fenty had a setting spray and I don't have to use other setting sprays so I could just use Fenty for my full face. I'm gonna try the concealer next time. I mean the um, Pro Filter Primer next time. I'm gonna try that and then I'll get back to you guys with that. But other than that, that's pretty much gonna be my routine for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want me to try any new foundations for you, you know, if you have any recommendations or anything like that, leave them down below. I'm always taking them, even though no one leaves them anymore because I like my audience. It's so low compared to how it used to be. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys next time. Deuces.